Okay, just another optimization question reading. We want to construct a cylindrical can with a bottom but no top that will have a volume of 30 cubic centimeters. Uh, determine the dimensions of the can that will minimize the amount of material needed to construct the can. Now, so what's happening effectively in, with this situation is that there is a can like this. There's no top and there's a bottom with a radius and there's a height of the can and this holds 30 cubic centimeters in volume okay so uh, that will be a constraint of 30 centimeters cubed and we need to determine dimensions of the material so in doing so that will involve the surface area which equals pi r squared of the circle and that's added with 2 pi r h so that's the area of circle and that's the area of the rectangle which is the face of the actual can. Now we got two variables in the one equation so what we're going to do is involve our constraint of the volume. Okay so we know the volume of the can is uh, pi r squared times the height and we know the volume to be 30 and we are still left with our two variables and we're going to solve for one. I'm going to solve for h. So h will be equal to 30 over pi r squared. Now with this information we're going to pl uh, plot that and substitute it into our surface area function and in doing so we will get a surface area function uh, of pi r squared plus 2 pi r and h is 30 over pi r squared. Now we can cancel out the pi's and remove one of the r's and we will get the following. pi r squared plus um, 60 over r. I'm going to take r to the top and that is the function we have and this is what we are going to optimize and take the derivative of so the derivative of the surface area in relation in respect to its radius will be 2 pi r uh, minus 60 over r squared now we're going to set this to zero and we will get the following um, 0 being equal to 2 pi r minus 60 over r squared and I'll start a new sheet so I'll work from the top we will get uh, 2 pi r being equal to 60 over r squared now, uh, we're going to move the r squared left of the equal sign and we will get a uh, cube 2 pi r cubed being equal to 60. So r cubed will be equal to uh, 30 over pi and r will be equal to the cube root of 30 over pi. Which is also written as under the square root. Okay, 
Now we found a uh, expression for R. We can now uh, put that value back into the height function which we calculated here. And in doing so, we will get H being equal to 30 over pi. And we have, I'll put brackets in, 30 over pi. And that's to the power one third. And then we're going to square it as per our function and we will get the following uh, height being equal to 30 all divided by pi um, 30 over pi that's two thirds to the power two thirds and that is the dimensions so that is uh, the answer to the question the radius will be uh, 30 over pi to the power one third, and the height will have this as the answer. Now, if you were to put that in the calculator, you will get uh, approximately 2.12 centimeters for its radius, and again, 2.12 for its height, and that's also centimeters. Now that's important to know because um, it it is you can check your answer in that uh, if you put those values back in. So we got we know the volume to be thirty, and we know that by definition uh, it will be pi r squared times height. Now because the radius and the height is the same value. All we need to do is go 30 being equal to uh, pi uh, times 30 over pi. And if you wanted to know where I got this from, I basically just adopted it from here. R cubed equals 30 over pi and we will get this being equal to 30 if you put that into the calculator now that's a that's one way to check it that's one way to check your answer the other way is to graph the function of the maximum or minimum surface area so if you graph uh, the surface area function which we had as uh, pi r squared plus 60 over r. That is the function, uh, that is the graph you will get. So, and as you know, from optimization, finding the maxima or minima, you can see the minimum is at approximately 2.12 centimeters. So that is where the minimum occurs, and that is how you would check the answer. And that is the end of this video.